Hello YouTube, Salivate Metal here, and the markets are very fickle, and uh, there's a lot of psychology at play, and we're going to talk about that with this article here from Kitco News, uh, but before we do that, I just want to um, extend my deepest sympathies and condolences to the people of the United Kingdom over the events that occurred in Manchester at a concert. Many young people were killed, innocent young uh, people attending a concert, having a good time. And uh, unfortunately, as the article will talk about, this happens far too often. And it just goes to show you the cowardice and how evil must be defeated. And uh, more stringent efforts should be needed, done to uh, stop ISIS and Islamic extremism. And these type of terror, terror attacks are just uh, um, awful. <clears throat> so that being said, um, gold has pulled back, and uh, we're seeing that today here. Um, and as I record this video, gold is down almost ten dollars, and silver is down to um, the low seventeens. Platinum has taken a little bit of a hit as well. Uh, so gold prices are ending the U.S. day session moderately lower on some profit taking and a downside correction from recent gains. The rebound of the U.S. dollar index today also supported the precious metals market's bears. June Comics gold was last down seven dollars an ounce at twelve fifty four. July Comics silver was last down um, point zero five six at seventeen thirteen an ounce. U.S. economic data, including a weaker than expected housing report, did not impact the precious markets. Precious metal market significantly Tuesday. The economic report pace is heavy for the rest of the week. The world markets did not show significant reactions to the terror bombing attack at a concert in Manchester, England late Monday that killed nearly two dozen young people and injured scores. These major terror attacks that now occur a few times each year, unfortunately, are not surprising to the markets anymore. And that just goes to show you that, uh, you know, that some people had talked about how that geopolitical events don't affect the markets like they used to. Well, it's I don't believe that. I believe they do affect the markets, but things like this where they're sort of predictable and they do happen enough that uh, they don't affect. But anything unusual uh, in, ge in the geopolitical world um, – that happens not necessarily related to violence or terror, but any other types of different things and scenarios that occur that are much less significant on a global scale can have a, a profound effect on the markets geopolitically <clears throat> with gold and silver and the like. So uh, major economic focal points and market watchers this week are the Federal Reserve's FOMC minutes released on Wednesday afternoon and the OPEC meeting that begins Thursday. So we'll see what happens uh, with those two items. I think they will have some effect, certainly. Um, and uh, obviously, you know, there is there is talk that the, some Federal Reserve uh, uh, chair people in different areas are expressing concerns that, pay, that possibly we may ramp up QE again. And people should realize that quantitative easing, uh, the third round was pulled back some, but we're still printing money. So it's not stopped by any means. The key outside markets on Tuesday saw the U.S. dollar index higher on a corrective bounce after hitting a six-month low Monday. The dollar index bears remain in firm near-term technical control. And uh, so it's going to be interesting to see how the crude oil stocks uh, react and uh, the the um, the Thursday's OPEC meeting is expected to see cartel continue its lower production quotas that were implemented last fall. And here we can see the 24-hour spot gold price here, <clears throat> and uh, where this all goes. Technically, June gold future price is closed near the session low today. The gold bulls still have the slight overall near-term technical advantage, but need to show fresh power to soon keep it. Gold bulls' next upside near-term price breakout objective is to produce a close above solid technical resistance at $1,300. 
Uh, Bears' next near-term downside price breakout objective is pushing prices below the solid technical support of last week's low of 12.2680. First resistance is seen at last week's high of 12.65 and then at 12.68. First support is seen at 12.50 and then at 12.45. The white, uh, the Wyckoff's market rating is 5.5, <clears throat> and it talks about silver future prices closed near the session low at some profit taking after hitting a four-week high early on today. The silver market bear uh, bears have the overall near-term technical advantage. However, the bulls have momentum to suggest a market bottom is in place. Silver bulls. Next upside price breakout objective is closing prices above solid technical resistance at eighteen dollars an ounce. The next downside price breakout objective for the bears is closing prices below solid support of the May low of sixteen oh six. First resistance is seen today at today's high of seventeen thirty, and then at seventeen fifty. Next support is seen at seventeen dollars, and then at this week's low of sixteen eighty four. We're already getting close to that at 1705 right now. So it's going to be interesting to see how the week plays out with everything that's going on and with these two meetings coming up. But uh, post your thoughts below and where you think where you think things are heading and how events like what we saw in Manchester, you know the uh, the frequency of seeing them a couple of times a year. And uh, what happens if one happens again pretty soon? Because uh, uh, the United Kingdom has increased their terror level to critical, which is as high as it's been in a decade. So we shall see where things hold out. There, I think there was some fears. There was some, um, I guess, some some scares at a mall that they closed down, Manchester area. So uh, lots of uh, people on edge right now. And again, my deepest condolences to the people of the United Kingdom and specifically Manchester. And I uh, hope the British people will unite and come together and fight this evil. The United States stands with you. And for my uh, viewers in the United Kingdom, uh, my heart goes out to you on this very sad day for this atrocity that has occurred. Evil must be defeated. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.